It is Friday morning and members of the National Youth Coalition for NRM Mobilization are busy doing community work at Kabong Hospital. Their work is temporarily brought to a halt after a man dressed in strange attire surfaces. He's called Simon Peter Lokuya, a local defense unit officer trying to cleanse himself after killing two wrestlers who attempted to raid cattle in Dodoth County. My name is Paul Lokuya, Simon Peter. So now I am free now. And as has been the practice in Karamoja region, by him coming out dressed like that, it shows he has been cleansed. So that is what's called cleansing. This thing has been existing. It is not its, its first time of the kind. It has been there. In case an enemy comes to your clan and raise and you kill. So that, that's the last moment now of cleansing that you are seeing. In the past, uh, when somebody kills an enemy, one is cleansed. One gets a white coat that is broad and is speared. Then from there he is cleansed using the, some the wastes, I mean, from the stomach of the, the goat and is smeared. Then after he has also, they have to get a certain tree. For some Karimojong to remain passionate about their cultures after so many years of civilization is clear evidence that this part of Uganda still holds on to some of their traditional ways. However, on cleansing after killing an enemy, the Doth County Member of Parliament, Sam Lokeris, holds a different view. But that has, in the past, has been so prominent to show that one has killed an enemy, is a man, and in society they would respect it. But I think of today, we really feel it's something, it's something now which is a cake. Karamoja was known for cattle wrestling due to legal possession of firearms. However, with the success of the disarmament exercise in the region, the Doth County Member of Parliament, Sam Lokeris, says the act of cleansing would encourage revenge. It can even cause others to revenge. How, how could you imagine that today you are dressed like that? Tomorrow the other fellow will kill you and then he does that. So it was something which was perpetuating revenge. Today, the Karamojong rare graze and protect their cattle against wild beasts and raiders jealously without resorting to violence. This explains why the culture of cleansing after killing an enemy is slowly dying off. Henry Okrut, UBC News.